Welcome to my channel Living Linux. In this video, I'm going to show you a Debian image booting on a Samsung Galaxy Book Go with a Snapdragon 7C Gen 2 processor. Um, one of the bad things or the bad news is that the eMMC in my Pinebook Pro probably just died, so I was looking at the alternatives for a Linux ARM laptop and I was already hoping for quite some time that I was able to boot Linux on the Samsung Galaxy Book Go but when I looked for it already quite some time ago I didn't find anything but now I have found something that someone made an image Debian image for the Samsung Galaxy Book Go. So you can see that I plugged in a USB mouse in the USB A port. Um, you can boot from the USB A port, but the trackpad wasn't used, uh, didn't work for me, so that's why I connected a mouse. But the Samsung Galaxy Book Go only has one USB A port. So here I have a USB stick with a USB A port and a USB C port. So I'm going to plug it in on the right hand side in the USB C port. I also tried it on the left hand side, but that didn't really work for me. So we'll switch it on and then we have to press F2 to get into the boot menu. So you have to switch off secure boot control and then you can go to boot device priority and here you can see there is the option to boot from the USB. So we make that the first option. We save and let's see what happens. So here we have the grub menu. First option is the Samsung Galaxy Book Go. Just let it run. Default user is Linux, password is change me. And here we have Debian. So we can see it's based on the 6.1 kernel. It's ARM architecture 64. So uh, I wasn't able to connect Wi-Fi or Ethernet um, because I do have a USB-C hub with an Ethernet port, but um, unfortunately it was not recognized. Yeah, it's, there's still a lot of work to be done, but the good thing is, is that we actually can boot uh, to a desktop environment, a Linux desktop environment. So I've seen a lot of people ask for a affordable ARM laptop, Linux ARM laptop, and I think especially in the United States, you can buy these secondhand for like $150, something like that. Perhaps if you have to add shipping, let's just say $200. Perhaps in the future that we also can get the Samsung Galaxy Book Go 5G model working um, because four gigabytes of memory might be a little bit limited and eight gigabytes 
I think nowadays that should make a very usable daily driver. Um, but the 5G model, I think that one is using the 8C, 8CX Snapdragon. So I'm not really sure if that one will work. But I'm really happy with this first step. I'm hoping more steps will follow that, for instance, like the trackpad will work. Um, I'm very happy with all the work that the person did for this image to boot on the Samsung Galaxy Book Go. I'll put the link in the description of the video. And for now, unfortunately, I don't think I can show you um, anything else. But like I said, this is a very, very nice first step. And I hope things will progress in the rest of the year. So that's all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.